Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we enter into this sacred celebration, let's acknowledge our sins. So prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let's pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and scolded by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come, and come safely to the Paschal festivities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. After the Lord God had finished giving the tablets of the covenant to Moses on Mount Sinai, the Lord said to Moses, Go down at once, your people whom you brought up out of the land of Egypt have acted perversely. They have been quick to turn aside from the way that I commanded them. They have cast for themselves an image of, an, of a calf and have worshipped it and sacrificed to it and said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you out brought you up out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I have seen these people, how stiff-necked they are. Now let me alone, so that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them. And of you I will make a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord and his God and said, O Lord, why does your wrath turn hot against your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a great mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say, It was with evil intent that he brought them out to kill them in mountains and to consume them? from the face of the earth? Turn from your fierce wrath, change your mind, and do not bring disaster on your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants, how you sought them by your own self, saying to them, I will multiply your descendants like the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have promised I will give to your descendants and they shall inherit it forever. And the Lord changed his mind about the disaster that he planned to bring on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, remember us for the love you bear your people. Lord, remember us for the love you bear your people. Our ancestors made a calf at Horeb and worshipped a cast image. 
they exchanged the glory of God for the image of an ox that eats grass. Lord, remember us for the love you bear your people. They forgot God, their Savior, who had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and awesome deeds by the Red Sea. Lord, Lord, remember us for the love you bear your people. Therefore God said he would destroy them. Had not Moses, his chosen one, stood in the breach before him to turn away his wrath from, the destroying, from destroying them. Lord, Lord remember, remember us for, for the, the love you bear your people. Gospel Acclamation God loved the world so much he gave us his only son that all who believe in him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jewish leaders were seeking to kill Jesus because he was not only breaking the Sabbath, but was also calling God his own father, thereby making himself equal to God. Jesus said to them, If I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that his testimony to me is true. You sent messengers to John and testified to the truth. Not that I accepted such human testimony, but I say these things so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But I have a testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father has given me to complete the very works that I am doing, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself testified on my behalf. You have never heard his voice or seen his form, but, and you do not have his word abiding in you, because you do not believe in him whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life. And it is they that testify on my behalf. Yet you refuse to come to me to have life. I do not accept glory from human beings, but I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not accept me. If another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept glory from another, one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the one who alone is God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. Your accuser is Moses, on whom you have set your hope. If you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But if you do not believe what he wrote, how will you believe what I say? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, one of the evils of this modern society is the scarcity of men and women in place of leadership who are willing to speak their convictions at the risk of popularity. Our Christian life is a constant challenge between two aspects. 
being popular and being right there is a constant challenge to stand against the prospects of gaining false fame and popularity by compromising one's christian ideologies and christian values the gospel of the day presents jesus who stood firm and rock solid in his mission commitment even in the face of oppositions and indifference from the jews the context of today's gospel passage is the aftermath of the healing of the crippled man by the pool of bethsaida on the sabbath day the incidents had sparked, sparked the rage of opposition against jesus he was persecuted because of the act of healing was done on sabbath his defense caused the jews to kill him because jesus equated himself with god there was a strong wave of resentment and hostility against jesus but jesus always stood firm in his mission commitment even in the face of oppositions indifference and apathy from the jews he therefore presents before the jews the witnesses which we would testify to him his divinity our life christian life is a constant challenge to let go of our values and principles to compromise on our effort and mission work but we need to be inspired and imitate our blessed lord who was unwilling to let go of his commitment and dedication to the mission today let this gospel passage challenge and inspire us to remain ever uncompromising in our christian life god has entrusted each one of us a mission we should never ever compromise with our values our principles and our mission to stand for god and his kingdom and to live to share his love and mercy yes one of the evils of this modern society we see is the scarcity of men and women in place of leadership who are willing to speak the truth and their conviction at the risk of popularity let us draw to show the spirit of leadership like jesus our master by seeking to be truthful to be faithful rather than just be popular in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen let's stand and offer our prayers Lord we pray for the Holy Catholic Church for Pope Francis for all our bishops priests and the entire faithful may god help us to grow in holiness and be a light that leads many souls to salvation we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer as we come closer to the celebration of the paschal passion of jesus christ may we be aware of the sufferings of god's people i'm come to their aid led by the love and compassion of our lord we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord we pray for the young people may this time of inspiration may this time be an inspiration and strength to renew their faith and vocations as married couples single religious priests and all servants of god we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord we pray for ourselves that our london resolutions we may cha- change our lives guard against temptation and follow the way who is christ we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord we pray for all who care for sick and for all who support them 
may be, may they be aware that the lord is with them in their works we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord we pray for all those who have died recently and for all our deceased members may they find fullness of life in christ we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer today's mass is being offered for the intentions in thanksgiving for the poor souls creoplin and nakolsky families for their intentions we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer and in the silence of our hearts let us place before god all our intentions of this day let us also pray for our families and friends and those who have asked for our prayers gracious and loving father we give you thanks and praise and glorify your name for the gift of being your people may we be always ready to share the gospel of hope with all who are in need we make this prayer through christ our lord amen Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have the spread of fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this vine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church grant we pray almighty god that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every every evil and always grant us your protection through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let's give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory o sana in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord 
കോസ്താന take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples say take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the Francis our pope Ronaldo Peter our bishop Joseph his auxiliary and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face Half mercy on us all we pray that with blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him a god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor receives forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to the apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace 
and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit lamp of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
I will place my law within them and I will write it upon their hearts and I will be their God and they shall be my people, says the Lord. Let's pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your observance freedom from all blame that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Litany of Saint Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Renowned offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God, pray for us. Diligent protector of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph, most just, pray for us. Joseph, most chaste, pray for us. Joseph, most prudent, pray for us. Joseph, most strong, pray for us. Joseph, most obedient, pray for us. Joseph, most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of artisans, pray for us. Glory of home life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Zealous of the wretched, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of holy church, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare, spare us, O oh Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Lord. He made him the Lord of his house and ruler of all his substance. Let's pray. O God, in your loving providence, you were pleased to choose Blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beg you that we may be worthy to have him. For our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the, the Archangel, Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament.